1,500 miles. 1,500 miles is far. It's really, really far. We drove 1,500 miles with Bree to Zavala, Texas. And all I have to show for it is a sunburn and some fire ant bites. Oh, huh. and the kicker is Bree's gone. Taylor, I know you were in the forum all weekend, like, banging your head against the keyboard, but you know, this is not your fault. Bree wanted us to come here. If it's anyone's fault, it's hers. It is her fault. We went 1,500 miles with Bree. She just gets in a car and leaves. 1,500 miles. That's, you know how far that is? Mount Whitney, largest mountain in California. It's coming in at a puny 14,000 feet. How about Mount Everest? 29,000 feet. You know what that is? That's six miles. That's a drive around town. Let's say you want to go to another planet. You go to Mars. You want to climb Olympus Mons. That's uh, coming in, I think, at 78,000 feet, being the largest peak in the entire solar system. That's still only, what, 15 miles? And <laughs> 15 miles doesn't even compare to 1,500 miles. You could push about 25 miles per hour on a bike. That would take you probably approximately two days. That's if you make it at all, because I mean, Lycra Pants, Texas, I don't know, the term tar and feather comes to mind. So what am I trying to say? Well, we came here with Bree to help her find Julia. And now she's gone, uh, they're both gone, and for the first time in a while, I, I just feel lost, and I miss her. And I, for some reason, you know, I really feel like we got a lot closer in the last couple weeks. She opened up to me, told me about her family, I really think she was starting to like me, too. What the hell, Bree? What the hell? Where are you? Why have you not tried to contact us? I mean, me and Dana, we're just here. We're just waiting, and we're, we're tired. But we're here, and we're just waiting for some kind of... some kind of sign from you that you're okay. So just don't let us down.